that's very unique to Arizona Gymnastics is the technology that they have throughout the Mary Roby Training Center. Today for the Friday Five, we're going to hear a little bit from Bill Ryden about that technology and how it helps them, how the technology helps them train. Hope you enjoy. One of the truly unique parts of this gym is our motion analysis video system, which uh, I it was a brainchild of mine that I'd been working on for four years, and uh, it, due to the the really high initial startup costs, as well as the, the technical aspect of what was going to be needed. Um, it took me about four years to get it up and going and with the help of a lot of very, very smart people. It's certainly a unique thing. It's, uh, to my knowledge, one of a kind. We've actually had both hardware and software manufacturers inquire about this system because we're sort of pushing the limits on what we can do. But basically, we have four independent motion analysis systems that can run simultaneously on every event. And in their most basic mode, they will do simple um, video delay. So basically, what we do with the cameras, I have nine digital cameras um, wired into the building. And we use all fiber optics because with the speed of the cameras, we really could not go for analog, and analog is low quality anyway. So uh, a lot of the infrastructure cost was actually putting fiber optic cabling through the, the roof of the cylinder. So we actually have these cameras, the cameras come from Germany, the lenses come from Switzerland, and they're so high quality digital cameras that we'll never be able to have enough computer power to actually handle what they're capable of doing, which means every couple of years when we upgrade our computer power, the camera system will only actually get better as we work up to it. So I thought that was a cool feature. It took quite a bit of hashing out to find these cameras to actually bring in uh, and then actually place them and so forth. But here we are sort of at the bar computer and from this source I can pick a certain camera. So now we're actually looking at the camera that works on the resi bar pit as well as the single rail. And I can zoom in, change focus, whatever, but right now we're going to go with the standard focus. There and, we are. And then, so in its basic mode, we're sitting at a live screen. So, um, besides this, I also have flat screen LED monitors connected to every computer, which basically just does a mirror. So, what I can do with a remote control is instantly, chalk dust, instantly switch to a delayed view. So now it's actually on a 30 second delay, which might be a little long for us, but if you watch it, you'll see what I was just doing. Because even though it wasn't on delayed mode, it was already recording inside the computer. So after the fact, the athletes will do something, they'll get off, they'll look at the screen. I put up the bigger screen so that more people could watch across the gym, um, but typically I'll be explaining to an athlete right at the computer. So if I go back to, to live mode here, we will actually now go to um, and show you some of the past work that we've done. Now what we can do is we can record video and after I record a number of those videos, I can burn, immediately burn a DVD and give it to the athlete and say, here, take this home and watch it. But some of the, some of the things that we've done in the past, as I go down, because we have quite a few um, things sitting here. Let me see what we've got going here. They've all been renamed. So, so like, yeah, so this was actually, piece of video and you can see it it's up on the big screen as well um, of one of our former athletes doing a double layout full out and we were we were working on her techniques so we can do this over and over and like I said I actually did burn this to a DVD and said here you go uh, we were just working on techniques at this and should I need to um, obviously I can actually um, slow it down um, and actually pause. So if I want to if I want to make an explanation at this point, I can actually go frame by frame. I can actually 
put some marks on the screen that will be compared to on our next attempt if I'd like to, um, or actually write some text, actually do some audio commentary, I can do angle analysis, all of this stuff right on top of the video and then save it and um, print it out for her. So then on the next step, one thing we can do is we can actually combine videos when we're trying to figure out a good versus a bad. So here's two videos of uh, one of our former athletes doing Shaposhnikova to Paxalto. And we're actually using the, um, the, the overlaid videos to figure out the difference between a good one and a bad one. Because this happened to be, what, and what we were working on, which was the whole glide attempt after the Paxalto, what made it work, what made it not work. So we actually overlaid these and we were able to tell that on a good attempt, A happened and on a bad attempt, B happened. So once again, we can also just immediately burn this to a DVD, hand it to the athlete, they can take it home, or we can actually store these um, on a computer. We hot rodded these computers to their maximum, so they have incredibly huge storage disks that we can put, because these cameras can actually dump so much video in so fast a time that if, if we just let it run, it would fill up a complete hard disk and probably an entire bar routine. So we have to actually slow down the camera, the camera rate, which is still, far slower than what the human eye can perceive, but it allows us to do stop motion and have it almost look like a picture. No fuzzy, no blurry, we can actually tell exact angles. So, it's just another example of what we can do. And in, I'll show you one other example of what we've done with simultaneous cameras. At the beam computer and the beam setup, obviously we're looking at a, uh, our camera angle that goes across the beam. But one thing, like I had mentioned before, was that we can actually use multiple cameras simultaneously and actually look at the same skill in a different line. So I will attempt to pull up a video of a multiple view. Here we go. Okay, so this is actually one of our athletes working on a side leap and we were actually able to record her simultaneously directly at the beam and then perpendicular so and with this obviously all the same rules apply I can slow it down so you can see her and see every motion of what she's doing how high she's getting whether she's getting credit for being 180. Um, obviously, that's a pretty outstanding leap right there. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. But of course, this athlete has amazing leaps anyway. It's sort of her signature calling card. But, you know, we can. So there she is about, I don't know. You obviously can tell one leg's higher than the other. That is something we addressed actually during the training of this skill. Um, so, and obviously the feet are not pointed as much as I would like, but of course this was a summer workout when we were just working through techniques. So, another advantage of this system, and then of course, once again, can burn it right away, record it, actually can email the video, whatever we need to do, because these computers are also hooked up to the internet through our uh, university backbone network and we can actually send them off to a, a, an athletic server, give them to the athlete, combine them, whatever. So um, that's just a little bit of the advantages of our uh, video system. Um, um, certainly it's a great addition to our program and one we use quite extensively. Yeah, it's, it's very nice technology you have. Thank you for showing that to us. Sure.